Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick uh, message I want to give. Yesterday, one of the subscribers, a, a doctor, gave me a message about a study from Matt Piasecki. This guy is, this scientist is world-renowned for motor units. Okay, he made a claim. I read the study. He made a claim that if you sit on the couch your entire life, smoke, drink, do whatever you want, eat junk food, become fat, and then compare it to a master athlete that trained for 50 years every single day his entire life, and he's still training to that day, they will have the same amount of motor units left according to the studies that he did. Now, I've read the study. Okay, First and foremost, Mr. Matt Piasecki, you're full of it. Okay? I don't know who, who you think you're telling this to. Okay, it makes no sense what you said. So I am going to expose this nonsense, pure nonsense. First and foremost, he didn't take biopsies of the two of the two groups to compare them. I don't know how he came up with this. Well, I'm going to tell you how he came up with this. You're going to laugh at this. What he did, he had he had the two groups contract muscles, maximum. Voluntary contraction of 25%, not 100%, 25%. So the sedentary group that's been like out of shape their whole life contracted their muscle 25%, and the master athletes contracted their muscle 25%. Of course, of course you're not going to see the difference because they only activated their slow twitch motor units. It's not meeting the Henneman size principle. It's not going to the, to the max because you need to go at least 70% to activate the fast motor units, then you would have saw the difference because the sedentary people would have had way less fast motor units than the master athletes. But he didn't do this. But nevertheless, he got on stage on a YouTube. I mean, I, I, I seen the video also, not just the study, and made a bold claim that exercise, if you exercise your entire life, it will not slow down the loss of motor units. If you know what one motor unit looks like and what all motor units look like, you can normalize one to the other and make an estimation of how many there are. And this is what we found. Um, as expected, the young people had the greatest muscle mass um, and there was no difference between the old and the master athletes. So the lifelong exercise does not preserve muscle volume, muscle size. But more interesting, looking at the number of motor units, we found this. The young have the greatest number, as we would expect, and there's no difference between the old and the master athletes. Um, and this is true regardless of what method we use, whether it's the intramuscular, where we normalize the muscle size, or the more traditional method. They both show the same thing. In VL, there is no difference between the master athletes and the old in relation to motor unit number. So the idea that this lifelong exercise may offer some protection against neuromuscular decline is appealing, but from what we can see here, it's just not the case. Pure nonsense. Mr. Piasecki, why don't you test me? Why don't you compare me to send it to every 61-year-old? And let's see the difference. This is absurd. I don't believe that you got on a stage and made such a ridiculous claim. First of all, it's common sense. It's common sense. If somebody sits on their butt, their whole life, drinks, smokes, gets sloppy, gets fat, and then you compare him to a person that's been working out his entire life, they're going to have the same amount of motor units. They're not, come, they're not moving the same speed. Why you don't explain that part? Because that part you forgot to measure. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, don't believe this nonsense if you hear it, that if you exercise. First, another thing that he didn't do. He didn't ask the master athletes if they trained their entire life. Okay, they trained 50 years, so what? So what? Many people take years off from training and come back. Do you know that after like four, I forget the exact numbers, like three, four weeks, you start losing fast motor units. If you don't do nothing for three, four weeks, you start losing fast motor units. And around that same time, your firing rates deteriorate. You can't get those back, by the way. You can't get those back. So that's another thing that he didn't do. He didn't ask the best athletes if they have ever taken weeks, months, years off from training. They may have regular normal motor units as the next person. It's just that they have better firing rates than the sedentary people because of their training. But he didn't test that either. Okay, look, I just wanted to relay this message to the gentleman. 
that sent me the, the, the comments because this study makes no sense at all. He didn't test correctly. He didn't test correctly. I mean, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Just think about it for a second. You contract your muscle at 25%, and then a sedentary person contracts that muscle at 25%. You only activated the slow motor units. That's the, what's the comparison there? Go all the way. Let's see what happens. Let's see who has fast motor units and who doesn't. Next time, contract at 90%, 70% or above. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a great Saturday. See you soon in my next video.